All right, so uh, let's dive into Java versus Golang. Oh, yeah. Something I'm sure you've thought about maybe once or twice. Definitely. As senior engineers, picking the right tool for the job mm, is... Absolutely. Oh, yeah, super crucial. Yeah. Especially when it comes to languages. Right. We're talking performance ecosystems. Mm -hmm. Ease of learning the whole nine yards. It's a constant debate, isn't it? Oh, for sure. But the beauty is there isn't one winner. Right. It all comes down to what you're building. Yeah. And your goals, both for the project and your career. Absolutely. I think so, performance is a good place to start. Yeah. As senior engineers, we're dealing with complex resource intensive systems. Mm -hmm. So where does Golang really shine? Oh, yay. I keep hearing about these go routines. Yes. Go routines are where Golang really flexes its muscles. Okay. Especially in concurrent situations. Mm -hmm. Think of them as lightweight threads managed by the Go scheduler. Okay. This clever scheduler makes context switching between Go routines super efficient. Right. And then you've got channels, mm -hmm. these elegant pathways for Go routines to communicate. Okay. It all adds up to Golang, often outperforming Java. Wow. Even with Java's robustness. So you're saying if I'm dealing with a scenario that demands high concurrency, Yes. Like a massive web application handling thousands of requests per second. Exactly. Golang could give me a significant performance edge. You got it. Okay, that's interesting. Let's say you're building a real-time streaming platform. Okay. With Golang, you could have one Goratine handling incoming video streams, mm -hmm. another processing data, Okay. and another managing user interactions, all working in concert. Right. Without bogging down the system. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the power of Golang's concurrency model. Okay. That's a pretty compelling argument for Golang. Sure. But what about the ecosystem? Mm -hmm. Job has been around forever. It's got this massive library of tools and frameworks. Right. That's got to count for something, right? Absolutely. Java's mature ecosystem is a huge draw, especially for enterprise-level applications. Well, Let's talk about Spring Boot, for example. Okay. It's a beast of a framework that gives you everything you need for building complex production-ready applications, mm -hmm. from dependency injection to security features. Right. Golang's ecosystem is growing rapidly, right. but it hasn't reached that level of maturity yet. So for a senior engineer who needs a proven battle-tested solution for a large-scale enterprise project, yeah. Java might still be the safer bet. It's often the more comfortable choice, yes. Okay. You've got extensive documentation, a huge community, and tons of companies using Java in production. Mm. There's less risk involved, right. at least in terms of finding solutions to common problems. That said, Golang is gaining traction quickly. Yeah. Do you think it's just a matter of time before its ecosystem catches up to Java's? It's definitely on an upward trajectory. Okay. We're seeing a surge in companies adopting Golang. Interesting. Particularly those focused on cloud native development and microservices. Mm. And with that adoption comes more investment in libraries, right. frameworks, and community support. Yeah. It's a cycle that could eventually lead to a more mature and feature rich ecosystem for Golang. Okay, cool. So we've talked about performance and ecosystems. Right. But what about the learning curve? Okay. As senior engineers, yeah. we're expected to pick up new languages quickly. Yeah, for sure. How does Golang stack up against Java in that regard? Golang is known for its minimalist syntax. Oh. It's designed to be easy to read and write, right. which can be a huge advantage for quick adoption. Yeah, I can see that. You can get up and running with Golang surprisingly fast, Okay. even if you're coming from a completely different language background. So that sounds promising. Yeah. Especially if you're under pressure to deliver a project quickly. Right. But yeah. doesn't that simplicity come at the cost of expressiveness? Mm. Can you really build complex systems yeah. with yeah. such a stripped down language? That's a valid concern. While Golang's simplicity can be a boon for getting started, mm. it can also feel limiting when you're dealing with intricate systems. Yeah. You might find yourself writing more code right. to achieve the same functionality you'd get with fewer lines in Java. So there's a trade-off there. Exactly. You gain speed yep. and ease of learning with Golang, uh -huh. but potentially sacrifice some of the power and elegance that you get with a language like Java. Yeah. 
that's something to consider. It is. Sure. And it's where your experience as a senior engineer comes into play. Okay. You have the judgment to assess those trade-offs and yeah. decide which language is the best fit for the specific challenges you're facing. Speaking of challenges, okay. let's shift gears and talk about career implications. After yeah, all, sure. we're senior engineers. Mm -hmm. We're thinking about the long game here. Right. What does the job market look like for Java versus Golang developers? Java is deeply entrenched in many industries, particularly in large enterprises. Mm -hmm. It's a safe bet for career stability. Right. There will always be a demand for experienced Java developers to yeah. maintain and evolve those legacy systems. So if you're looking for a solid, reliable career path, yeah. Java is still a strong contender. It is. But what about Golang? Okay. What kind of opportunities are out there yeah. for senior engineers specializing in Golang? Golang is gaining momentum, okay. particularly in companies focused on scalability performance mm -hmm. and cloud-native architectures. Okay. If you're interested in cutting-edge technologies right. and working on systems that push the boundaries of what's possible, yeah. Golang could open up some exciting doors. So we're seeing a bit of a divide. Kind of, yeah. Java's the steady, dependable option. Right. While Golang's the new kid on the block, yeah. offering potential for growth and innovation. Uh-huh. It sounds like choosing between them is almost like choosing between different career paths. That's a great way to put it. Oh. Think about it this way. Okay. If you excel at Java, you might find yourself leading large teams, mm -hmm. working on mission-critical enterprise applications, oh. and becoming a technical authority within your organization. And with Golang, you could be at the forefront of innovation. Exactly. Architecting highly scalable systems yeah. and contributing to the evolution of a rapidly growing language ecosystem. Yeah, that's right. Okay, very cool. The beauty of being a senior engineer is that you have the experience and knowledge yeah. to make those choices and shape your career trajectory. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's be pragmatic here. Right. At the end of the day, here we're we all interested in compensation. Yeah, of course. How does the pay compare mm -hmm. for senior engineers specializing in Java versus Golang? Both languages offer competitive salaries, okay. but Golang developers, mm -hmm. particularly those with experience in high demand areas Prior. like cloud computing and distributed systems, uh -huh. can often command a premium. So Golang's relative scarcity in the market yeah. is driving up demand. It is. And therefore salaries. Yep. Basic economics. Okay. Precisely. Okay. Yeah, okay. And as more companies adopt Golang, right. the competition for skilled developers will only intensify, yeah. potentially leading to even higher salaries. So for a senior engineer looking to maximize their earning potential, yeah. Golang might be the more strategic choice, at least in the current market. It's definitely worth considering. Okay. Of course, salary isn't the only factor. Right. You need to weigh it against your interests. Yeah career goals, mm -hmm. and the specific opportunities available in your region. That makes sense. Yeah. It's about finding the right balance between yes, yeah. your passions, yeah. your skills, and the market demand. And remember, the ability to learn and adapt is a valuable asset. Okay. You don't have to limit yourself to just one language. Right. Being proficient in both Java and Golang can make you a highly sought-after candidate. So that's a great point. As senior engineers, we should always be expanding our skill sets yeah. and staying ahead of the curve. For sure. So what emerging technologies or trends okay. do you see on the horizon yeah. that might influence the future of Java or Golang? One area to keep a close eye on is the rise of WebAssembly. Okay. WebAssembly. I've heard whispers about it, mm -hmm. but I haven't fully grasped its potential. Yeah. Why should a senior engineer like me care about it? Well, think about it. Golang is known for its efficiency and portability. Mm -hmm. Now imagine being able to run those per performant Golang applications Are you? right in the browser Wow! without needing plugins or extensions. Okay. That opens up a whole new world of possibilities for web development. So we could potentially see Golang taking on a more prominent role. Possibly, yeah. In front-end development. Yeah. A space traditionally dominated by JavaScript. Right. That'd be a major shift. It's certainly a possibility. Right. And as WebAssembly matures, it could disrupt the entire web development landscape. Yeah. Impacting the demand for various programming languages, right. including Java. It seems like the key takeaway here is that the tech world is in constant flux. Yeah, absolutely. As senior engineers, we can't just sit back and rely on what we already know. Right. We need to embrace lifelong learning and keep exploring new technologies. Couldn't agree more. 
That's what keeps this field exciting. For sure. There's always something new to learn. Yeah. A new challenge to conquer, a new frontier to explore. And that's what makes being a senior engineer so rewarding, right? It is. We get to share that knowledge, yeah. mentor others, yeah. and help shape the future of technology. Absolutely. It's about passing on the torch. Yeah. And ensuring that the next generation of engineers is equipped to tackle the challenges of tomorrow. Well, I think that's a fantastic note to end on. Yeah. To all you senior engineers out there, mm -hmm. keep pushing those boundaries. Keep learning. Yes. Keep sharing. And most importantly, keep diving deep. And if you're eager for more in-depth discussions on software engineering topics, yes. make sure to subscribe to the Pragmatic Reviews YouTube channel. For sure. We've got tons of great content coming your way. Until next time, happy coding.